Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. Uh We have our first strawberries since version 1.2 was released. It's 500 litres. We cannot pick them up. Uh, so yeah, productions have definitely slowed down since the update. Uh, in here, how are we doing with everything else? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we have... Yeah, so I think it must uh, output at 400 litres. So, or was that 500 litres that outputs at? Uh, it's, uh, 500 litres. So I'm not expecting any more pallets for a while. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a fair while before we see any more pallets produced from this greenhouse, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're just keeping an eye on things. We do have our barley has nicely grown now as well. You can see this is uh, popping through. Looking like a really nice field of this. This does need to be rolled though. So uh, we're going to have to get a roller today. And hopefully we're not going to destroy any crop doing it. Um, because it will be an expensive mistake if it is. And, uh, and yeah. We are in a position now I think where the chickens can be bought. So that is where we are going to start today. We're going to grab ourselves a chicken hut. That will be under here under construction and animals and if we look at chickens chickens it's six thousand for a basic chicken pen 26 for sheep horses yeah so we will start with chickens um now a chicken pen we don't have enough money for but i'm really just trying to see where we can fit it right now and it's going to be one of those things, I think, where can we put it down the side? We need to leave enough space yet yeah, to get at our stuff in the greenhouse and at our chickens. So it's not, yeah, it's not there, unfortunately. I think around the back here, though, we might be able to. Just sort of over this way. We need to make sure that wherever we put it... Yeah, I'm thinking around the back here like this. So we are going to need uh, more money to do that. Let's borrow some cash. Again, we've got a fairly sizable loan on here. We're going to borrow that for there. And again, back into the construction. Animals. Chickens. And that pen there. Now, this is not a very large pen. I mean, the really big pen is it's a really big pen but it's not that that could we could actually probably do better going with this than with the other one i think but it is a sizable extra amount of money we'd have to borrow i'm gonna i'm gonna start with the smaller one for now so we'll put that down here i'm gonna put it next to our farm uh we need to get it a little bit away can we get it closer to the tree no we're overlapping with the tree so there i think perfect and so we now have around the other side of the tree here a nice chicken pen we're gonna fill it um with chickens that are ready to lay so we'll go with these and we're not going to need a rooster because we're not looking to actually uh give uh we're not looking to actually increase the number of chickens they're fairly inexpensive as you can see uh the most we can fit in is 30 and that is 1650 by that yes and that does us fairly well where are my chickens? We didn't have enough money, did we? Right. So, we're going to have to take it down to 25. Yes. There we go. Now we're cooking. Right. So, we have some chickens. What we need to do now is we're going to need to get some... Uh, we're going to need to get some feed for these chickens we're also gonna need to get some other bits and pieces it's gonna yeah it's gonna be down to the shop and we're gonna have to get a front loader on this i think and also then get our truck down there as well and do that so yeah gonna need to borrow a bit more money today the other thing is uh we gotta borrow a bit of money so that we can get a roller 
What is going to be for sale in the shop, though, is going to be the interesting thing. So uh, let's head down there, get both our vehicles down there, and then we can see on what today's offers are and whether any of them are actually any use to us. And so having got our tractor down to the shop, we now get our truck down here as well. And we'll just park this up because we need both things down here to load this up with the chicken feed. And we need the front loader on the tractor, unless there's something in the shop that will uh, work for us better. So let's have a look at the sales first. Um, and the simple answer is no. Uh, there is, uh, there's a mulch, uh, uh, a front for a potato, a uh, sugar beet harvester, sorry, and a uh, Kelsa logging trailer. So we need to get a few bits and pieces here. We're going to need a front loader for our tractor, and it's going to be a larger one. So somewhere along the lines of a 6M. So that's going to be 9,000. Uh, we're going to need a front loader tool in the form of... Well, we're going to go with the pallet forks. So, uh, yeah, we're up to 11,000. Um, and then we need some feed for our animals as well. What have we got in here? Yeah, there we go. Big bags. Uh, some wheat to feed the chickens. Uh, so we're going to need about 14, 15,000. Plus, on top of that, we need to hire a roller again. And the cheapest roller we can hire uh, is going to be a, it's, yeah, um, I reckon we probably want to be borrowing about 20,000 to get today's work done. So let's head into here and we want 20,000. So eight, three, four, takes us up to 255,000 euros. Uh, go back and then we can get the bits that we need it is the whole rolling thing i i yeah i'm not sure leasing that is going to cost yeah another two thousand so yep we're going to lease that then we are going to buy the uh 6m uh main color i want to get the i'm not sure what color our vulture is actually I have a feeling it may be the rabe blue. Uh, so we're going to go with that and the jet black. And we will buy that. If it's slightly wrong, then we should be all right. Uh, because we can change it. Front loader tools. We want the pallet forks. They're going to be the most useful thing to us. So we'll buy those. And then the last thing, as I said, is we need a big bag of chicken feed. So we'll buy one of those as well. So with all that done, uh, we're fairly well set up. Yeah, I think it is the rabe blue we've got on the uh, Balmut. So we're going to put the front down, drop that off so that we can then put it on the back for when we're loading up. Uh, and then on the way back, we've got to put it back on the front in order to take the rollers back with us. It's quite a complicated setup we're doing here at the moment. But at least we will get things moving. And as we move into late autumn, winter, uh, that's going to make a difference. Oh, we don't have the front loader on here yet. Thankfully, we do still have about 5,000 left to us. So here and customize and we want to add the quickie front loader attachment onto it. it's going to be one and a half grand customize that yes please there we go uh, wait back on the back start her up spin it round and then we'll be able to get everything loaded up we're in the lower gears there we go, into high, forwards, and hook everything up. I think the six isn't big enough. We're going to have to... Oh, that is an expensive mistake. I was sure the six was going to be big enough, but it doesn't quite clear everything. So, yeah, we're going to have to sell that at a loss. Yes, not that much of a loss, actually. I think it only cost us about uh, 9,000. So we did lose a little bit on that front loader. But we've got to get the bigger one in order to actually have it work properly. 
Yeah, it cost us 9,000... 9,500 and we sold it for 8,000. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, we want the 7M instead, though. Which is going to cost us a little bit more. But at least we will then have a big enough front loader tool for this tractor. So I've hooked everything up. Let's bring our pallet fork now. I was going to bring, try and bring the pallet forks right together, but that hasn't worked. So what we're going to do is just put the pallet forks as wide as possible and then pick up our big bag like that. And this is the thing. The pallet forks are our most useful setup as far as this goes. And I'm hoping the big bag over the wheels of our truck isn't going to cause it a massive problem. There we go. One big bag in. We will lock it down. And then we just need to switch our weight to the front of the tractor. And hook up our roller to get that back. So, down. Off. And we'll reconfigure it all to make it so that we can actually get this all back up to our farm. This is quite a an operation this morning to get this working. Uh, but at least we will have everything set up for today once we do it. Yeah, it's only 20 to 10 in the morning. Truck is back at the farm and now our tractor and roller are two. So let's just drop the roller off the back. It should be a fairly quick job, I think, to get both fields done. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to clear it off today. Uh, now, spin this round here and get... Oh, we need to lower that weight first. Ah! Right, we need to lower the weight. So lower it down. Like that. Now, can I get that front loader tool? Yes, I can. There we go. Wouldn't to drop that off anyway, so for realism's sake, I'm saying that it never fell off in the first place. Let's back this up. Make that on. And then I've put my truck round the back here so that we are nicely lined up to get the chickens fed. Let's bring this over here. Need to hop out quickly and undo. Nope, that one. That one's going to need undoing as well. There we go. And a bit onto the end of our fork. Lift it up. And we are looking great. Let's get them fed. There we go. And I might think I'm in the wrong. There we are. And they're taking a fair amount of this. Our, ba our back has shrunk quite a bit. Uh, but they have. Uh, they're all good. So let's go put this back in the shed. Um, and then we can uh, get on with doing some rolling, which is going to be our next job today. Uh, thankfully, they don't need any water, our chickens. Uh, they tend to be okay without it. So we'll just put that down there. Uh, and then I'm just going to drop the quickie loader and our bit off. Because we don't need those for this next bit. And again, I want to lower down my weight. Drop it off. And we'll plonk that back on the front. So that we can uh, get on with some rolling. I'm... Really pleased with that. That's not been too much of a financial burden on us at the moment. As always, this is a bit of a, a long game bit. Uh, we are spending money here to try and make money in the long term. It's not going to be something that immediately gives us cash back. Uh, but it will eventually, hopefully, make a difference. Uh, the roller, on the other hand, I'm hoping is going to financially benefit us fairly well it is 
couple of grand to increase the yield of these by, uh, I think it's 5%. This should increase the yield by. Uh, and at this growth stage, we also have uh, no issues with driving on the crop, thankfully. Uh, otherwise, that would be a problem. So let's bring this down. And I need to get this field rolled, hopefully, to make us a little bit better off. So if we have a look now on that little bit we've done. So this all needs rolling. This all needs rolling. I don't think this is having any effect. I think we had to roll it before it sprouted. Because that is having absolutely no effect at all. That was a bit of a waste of money. And very, very annoying. So, we have learned a lesson though. If you want to increase your uh, crop yield by that 5% when it needs rolling, you need to do it before the crop germinates. Uh, and before the crop starts growing. Because if you do it after, it's just not going to work. Uh, wow. Okay, so, with that bit of money wasted, uh, let's head back down to the shop and uh, go and get something that is actually going to be useful to us. So, after that waste of money, what is going to actually save us some? Or at least make us a little bit more? The answer to that, I think, is going to be uh, two-pronged. One, we need to get rid of some weeds. And two... Uh, we need to uh, get some fertilizer on parts of our fields. So let's uh, return that power roll. Such an expensive mistake. Uh, so we need a weeder and we need a uh, and we need something to spread fertilizer. And I'll show you the particular area of field that needs these to happen. Field twenty uh, and field seventeen. We've got a lot of uh, fertilized sections down the bottom ends uh, and the extra bits of these fields, but the main parts of the original fields, both of them are in need of fertilizer. Uh, neither of them as well. Uh, well, actually, field 20 particularly has a whole load of weeds in it. So what we need to do, first up, we are going to get rid of all these weeds in field 20. Looks like they're early stage weeds, so we should be able to get them with just a weeder. Uh, and then we need to put some fertilizer on, which is probably what we're going to do next time. Let's get a weeder and see if that is going to solve things for us. Now, I have heard and I have been told that a medium stage set of weeds you need a hoe for so here's the weeders so there's only one hoe in here what is that and it doesn't actually tell me oh, here we go weeder 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 hoe so that is the only hoe in here if you have medium stage weeds and you're not going to spray them with fertilizer uh with herbicide that is what you want is to get rid of them with that uh, that is 51,000. I want something a bit cheaper. Uh, that uh, 41,000, that would do uh, 15.2 meters, 12 meters. We can get this job done. We don't need to spend all this money. Uh, so that is 9 meters and that is 6 meters. I'm going to go with this one. The Einbock uh, Pneumatic Star 900. Uh, you can put seeds in this as well, but we don't need to. Uh, so to lease this is going to cost us 918. Perfect. Uh, that keeps the price down. And then we can just go and hook ourselves up to this. And uh, yeah, I'm annoyed about that rolling. I thought we might be able to do that with a first stage growth on our barley. Uh, not to be by the looks of things. And also, not far enough back. There we go. So connect everything up. Pick this up. And we will head back to our farm. And, uh, and see if we can deal with this weed problem in field 20. 
So we're up at the top end of field 20 here. And we're going to bring this out. So this should work fairly quickly. It's a fairly wide weeder. Uh, and what I'm going to test is whether I actually need to turn it on to get it to work or whether I can just trail it. I think turning it on would use the seeding function. So we'll see if this actually does anything on this first row just by driving down it. it does seem to be putting out some of uh some dust and uh some particles so let's see if this has made any difference on the small area we've done and yeah look at that uh we are clearing weeds off so something's gone right today we are actually doing work on our farm and making a difference uh which is absolutely brilliant so away we go. Although I'm going to switch into medium and drop us down a gear. See if that helps. Yeah, that's a bit better. I don't know if this is something that will show in the final video or not. But after about three or four rows in, I'm beginning to get my eye in on where the weeds are in this field. There are slightly lighter patches throughout the field and if you come closer you can see this item here that's a weed um and it, it's just ever so slightly lighter than the barley around it and you can kind of see the difference so if i stand at the border here you can see the field there versus the field there there's a uh, it's much more little bits of light um sort of plants in that and it's it's allowing me to actually line things up and see where i've been which is really good i'm i was worried that it was going to be one of those things where i couldn't do it by eye and would be absolutely wishing that i had the gps but no i'm actually able to find my edge uh, and run up and down the field and uh, and yeah and target these weeds really really well it's such a subtle thing but it works so so well now in the past i've been a big proponent of using herbicide on your fields instead of uh doing this doing the weeding um but in fs uh, 22 actually weeding becomes something that is more beneficial to you than using the uh, herbicide and that is because while both of them will remove weeds which gives a 15 percent boost in yield using the herbicide will also cause uh, you to lose yield as well uh, i think it's a five percent reduction in yield for using herbicide on the crop so in the end you get a 10% uh, boost from uh, getting rid of the weeds but you lose 5% uh, of your oh, sorry you get a 15% boost from uh, getting rid of the weeds but yeah you lose that 5% giving you an overall uh, only 10% boost uh, using the herbicide compared to the full 15% using the weeder so as I'm trying to maximize everything on this field, uh, we, uh, we can't be using the herbicide on it. And hopefully, weeding this now means that we're, we're going to avoid getting weeds through our crop later. Uh, it remains to be seen whether that will be true on the bottom parts of the field. Um, but hopefully, this is going to work out for us for the best. And, uh, and we'll be able to have some nice weed-free fields when it comes to the harvest. So we're coming up to the last row of this field and uh, looking pretty good. I'm uh, I'm very happy with this. We've got rid of all the weeds on the field and yeah, this should give us a very nice boost here. It does remain to be seen what's gonna happen on these headlands uh, at the top and the bottom of this field and the extra bits that we've got on field 17 uh they are all weed free at the moment but uh i'm i'm not sure if that's going to remain so as these fields grow and as i said i'm really hoping to not put herbicide 
on these fields. So we'll see what happens. Um, but at the moment, yeah, we seem to be pretty weed free across the rest of the farm, which is great news. We do need to get some fertilizer on these fields. And we're probably going to be looking at hiring a fertilizer, fertilizer spreader and getting that uh, on these fields next time before these grow a lot and uh, and we can't get this tractor on here with these tires it shouldn't be a huge problem i think uh, uh, we've got plenty of time we've got three two more days in november uh, but let's have a look at our field and see how we are doing so yeah there we go uh, apart from a couple of patches at the ends where i've picked up a little bit early or put down a little bit early uh, we're looking really good. I'm I'm really happy with that. Uh, it is, yeah. The next thing is is the fertilising. If we turn these off, uh, two fields are great ploughing wise. Little bit of lime places on them, but otherwise okay. Both of them completely need rolling, um, but there's nothing we can do about that as we know now. Uh, mulching we'll be doing soon, and we are completely stone free. Look at 19 and 18, both so full of stones. Uh, but yeah, our two fields here are all good. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, that is uh, that is a great piece of progress today. Uh, we want to get this weeder returned. And after that, we're pretty much done for the day, which means we're finishing at 4.30 um, for once. So let's uh, drop our weeder down, drop it off. And the shop can come and collect that. Yep. Uh, return that. Yes, please. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we are all good. Uh, we'll just check on our chickens. Do we have any eggs yet? Yes, we've got our first batch of eggs. Um, 25 animals, food... Uh, yeah, we've got five bits of eggs. So those are already producing some great eggs for us. We Do we have any more fruit after another day's worth of stuff? It doesn't look like it. Uh, we are... Yeah, we're not, we're not quite there with you. I think overnight we might end up with another pallet of stuff. But certainly strawberries are the ones that are producing the fastest here. So uh, that's pretty good. Oh, what's our water situation like before we finish? Uh, yeah, water is good as well. So that's all good. Happy with that. So uh, yeah, it looks like it's an early finish on the farm today. So uh, we're going to leave this here. All that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.